Good morning, everyone. You got the Bub031 here again, and we're back here at the layout for the month of March. We'll go over the tour and see this different version of how it's laid out. So, I want you all to sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> So we are now here at the front desk, basically the superintendent. Everything's all set up. We don't have everything yet on the board, as, as you'll see to our my left here. It's because this was just bright and early in the morning. But this is what our layout looks like for the month of March. These are all our locals that are dispatched from the yard. And a complete overview of the layout, as you can see here. Alrighty, we're going to start off with the yard. We're going to be heading west. So we're at the yard there. We just crossed over Moccasin and now coming into Castor. This is all industrial park right here, as you can see. Then we hit the crossovers of Prescott. And then we come around Memorial Point. It's been renamed. And then Pine Point. Next, we cross over Rideau River, then we're at Green Valley, Mandrake, Gary, another crossover. And then we're at Three Bridges with Mud Creek going down to the branches. We're then moving on to Beechburg Siding to the back of the fill yard. We're at Deerfield, Rosebush, Kerndale, Clinderwin, and Mine Clog Hug. All are the West Montrose. Then we're out in Cremona, and now we're at Hawthorne. Another big Y. That's all electronic switching. We then move around to Glen Tay and Bell's Corners. And then up to York River, as you can see here. And then back around the loop, which we are, and back down the main. On the back side here, we have the fiddle yard. And as you can see, the test train is waiting to go. Actually, I hear a train coming, so let's just watch it go by. Okay, that was nice. So, we're moving now east. We're at the yard. We then cross over Jock River. Then we come to Connaught, which is single track. And then Adamson, a small duck under. With Jackfish Bay, a big winding scenery curve. Up to Orleans, which becomes back to double track and passing. We then hit Rhineback Falls and Finch. Now we're at South Keys. This is basically the passing track. This is two choke points right now. Then we come up to Apple Hill and then into Stillwater, which comes into single track. Then we go over Anderson Bridge. And then we come into Wolf Creek and Spanish River, a nice, beautiful scenery. And then it comes back to double track at Rock Cut. We then hit Bayview Station. And then we come up to Vesta and MP Foods, which is another big industry on the layout. As you can see. And then we have St. Anthony's Yard. This is where the intermodal gets switched, gets grabbed. And as well, a place to rest trains and to do some local switching, as you can see there. We then come across Ottawa River Bridge. And then we're at MO Junction, the other part of the East Loop. 
coming around, we're at St. Lawrence River Bridge, which is connected to Fallowfield Station. And then we cross over our colonnade, which will go back to Emino Junction and back onto the main. That's the main right there. So one of the small branches we have here is coming off colonnade is JGRC Bridge, which comes to the Annex Auto Terminal. This is where the intermodal switches out. Usually it's auto racks, but this time it's intermodal to be switched here. And then coming off three bridges, we have the other branch. We have Arm Prior Power and then Wycliffe and then Elwood. Moving in behind Wycliffe, we have Spencer's Gap and then Mason Creek. And then Mason Creek also branches off there. We then come up to Willowdale and Stub End 2. Just enough room to do some work in the area. Now coming off Mason Creek, we have Jeans Bridge to the turntable, which is another transfer. And that's basically it for the layout. Now we're going to move to the back side. So there's our main power uh, source, which runs off Digitrax and JMRI. There's our programming with ESU. Here is our area for the Yardmaster. So we fix cars, we give the alpha coatings and all that. And this is where we also take cars out of boxes and place them on locals. And as you can see, there's all the locals. There's a the little tabs that go on top. And we have all the local cards there. But yeah, that's going to be it. Actually, I hear another freight drag going coming. So let's listen. So this is going to be the end of the video for March layout. I'd like to thank you all for watching. There's going to be more videos to come down in the future. So just keep your eyes out. And as always, make sure the signal's green. Keep moving down the line.